G'day guys, my name's Nick and this is my channel Low Range Nick where I do videos about full driving, accessory fitting and maintenance for your full drive vehicle. So in today's video, uh, it's time for the MUX to get its wheel bearings re-greased. So I'm going to show you guys all the steps necessary to re-grease the front wheel bearings on your Isuzu MUX uh, or your D-Max. So it's the same for both models, same front hubs. So I'll show you all the parts you need, uh, what grease and exactly how to do the job. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so the first step to doing the wheel bearing regress is of course get the wheels off. So I'm going to jack it up, put a jack stand under the car and um, get this front wheel off. So before you lift your vehicle, just make sure you chock your wheels with something so your car can't roll forward or back. Um, even if it's in park with a handbrake on, it's always good practice. So before you lift the car up in the air, just crack off the wheel nuts. Half a turn. So I've just put a jack stand under there just to help support it uh, if that jack does fail. I'm just going to roll this wheel underneath the car. Now I've got the tyre under the car, that's another fail safe. So if that does drop for some reason, I've got the jack stand there supporting it and I've got the tyre which is going to catch it. So I'm basically just making sure that this job is as safe as possible and there's no chance of ever getting crushed underneath the car. So if you, if you do this all the time, you get used to doing it and it'll just become the normal, that's just what you do um, and you'll never have any issues. Okay guys, so now we've got the wheel off, now it's time to start pulling down the hub and also the brakes. So to get this whole uh, caliper and bracket off, there's two 22mm bolts on the back. So two bolts, one down here and then one down the very bottom. So we'll get those two bolts out and then the whole caliper and bracket will come off together. So two 22s. These two pretty damn tight as they should be, being brakes. There we go. So it came off pretty easily. So sometimes you might just need to pull on the caliper a bit just to push the pistons back, um, depending on how lipped your rotors are. But these are nice and new, so they came off pretty easily. So now we'll just rest this up somewhere nice and safe, where it's not pulling on the brake hoses for now. So we'll just rest it there for now, and we'll um, tie it out of the way. So I've just zip-tied the brake caliper up out of the way, just around this bracket, and uh, just to protect this hose from getting damaged or the um, metal pipe getting bent or anything. So now it's time to start pulling apart this hub. So we've got six hex bolts, so they're eight millimeter hexes. So I'll rip those out, this cap will come off and then we'll pull apart the rest of the hub. So I'll just take this, um, this is just a little concentric ring for my rims. So I'll just take that off, put that aside. And let's start taking out these. So these are eight mil hex, come out pretty easy. Okay, now it's all loose. You can pull this off, so that's the cap. You can put the cap aside. So now we've got that hub cover off. Now you can see in here that there's a little circlip around this bit. So that just holds the, the end of the hub onto the end of the CV shaft. So what we'll do is just pop this circlip off and then we can take that end of the hub off. I'm just going to use these circlip pliers just to go into these holes and we'll get this circlip off that there you go that's the little circlip so you can put that aside and now the end of this hub should come off quite easily and there is a few little spaces in here so you can see these little shims so make sure they stay there and you keep them in the same spot so we'll put that aside like that so what we've got here is a locking ring on the outside and then behind that we'll have a little tensioning ring and then we'll get into the wheel bearings so what we need to do now is just pull out these locking screws. So we've got three locking screws in there. Just get a screwdriver. 
Take out those. So this hole needs to be straight up and down with, um, you know, the little locking tab section. So you could do it a little bit looser, which is going to have play in the hub, which is not what you want. If you do it too tight and try and get it to the next hole, then your wheel bearings are going to be over tightened. So it does need to be just right in this locking tab in that middle hole. Get in behind there. And then there's our little locking ring. I can put that aside. So now we're down to the tensioning ring. So this is the ring that puts the tension on the wheel bearings. So now we need to take this ring off to gain access to the wheel bearings. So there is a special tool for this ring. So it's just got two prongs and uh, a little drive for you to use your ratchet with. But you can quite easily just use your screwdrivers. Two screwdrivers, a third one to twist because they're not really that tight, you know. There's not that much tension on the wheel bearings and then we can loosen that ring off. So you can see that the tension's relieved off those wheel bearings and it dropped a bit. So there's our wheel bearing tensioning ring. So we can put that aside. So I've got my wheel bearing tensioning ring off and now this whole hub will come off in one go. So just hold the wheel bearing in, a little pull, and there you go. When you're doing this job, try and lay everything out nice and neatly. Um, try and lay it out in order that you pull it apart. So you can see how I've laid it out here. It's all in order of the way that I disassembled it. So when I go back together, I'll start here, work my way back, and I won't forget any bits. And also just having a nice, clean, tidy workspace. So nice, clean rag, and then we'll clean everything up nice and neat. So now we can start cleaning up the um, stub axle and removing the wheel bearings and re-greasing them. So we'll just clean up this stub axle, get all the old grease off it, because we'll uh, put some brand new, fresh grease in there. We'll clean up in this groove where the seal sits, make sure there's no grime or crap sitting under where that's going to sit when we put it back on. Alrighty, so the front wheel bearing comes out pretty easily. You literally just lift it out. So we'll put that to the side. And now I usually start with the back one. Back one first. So just before you tap this seal out, just make sure you've got the right hub seal and that's going to fit in there properly. The easiest way I find to get these back seals off the hubs is put a big screwdriver in behind there and we'll just give it a good tap here and it should flick up. So before we do that, just put a rag over it because sometimes uh, it can flick you in the face. One good tap. And there we go, that's pretty much up. There we go. So there's that back seal off. So we'll put this aside. Um, we've got a new seal to replace this. So you always need a new seal to replace this because uh, when it comes off, you usually damage it, so put that aside. So now we can pop that rear one out. So you can see it's a little bit larger than the front one, so you can't really mix them up. So basically what we're gonna do now is clean out all this old grease. So a bit of brake cleaner, a bit of degreaser. Clean out all the old grease out of both the wheel bearings, and then we can start repacking them uh, with the new grease. So as well as getting the old grease out of the wheel bearings, it's important to get the old grease out of the hub as well. So we wanna get all of that old grease out of all the components so we can re-grease it with fresh stuff. So doing this job you'll need quite a lot of rags. So we'll just get out as much as that old grease as we can with just some rags and then we'll do a final clean with some brake cleaner and degreaser. Now I'm just going to use some brake cleaner, just get all of that residue out and any last little bits and pieces. And now I've got a clean rag, and I'll just give it a final clean in there. And that's looking pretty damn good. So that's pretty damn clean. We've got all the old grease out and all the little bits of crap. And now I'll just clean up these wheel bearings. So again I'll just use a rag just to clean them up as best as I can. So now they're pretty clean. Now I'll just use a bit of degreaser just to get all those last little bits of grease out of there. And 
And one last clean with the rag. And then we'll be pretty well set for a regrease. That's got pretty much all the old grease out of there. So back to a fresh bearing. And then we can uh, regrease it with that fresh wheel bearing grease. So now it's time to regrease the wheel bearings. So I've just got my high temp wheel bearing grease here. So this is a, a red type grease. It um, doesn't really matter what colour as long as it's high temp bearing grease. You won't have any issues. So there's lots of different colours on the market, but this is just the one that we had at our local store. So automotive wheel bearing grease. So let's regrease them. So it's a pretty simple process regreasing wheel bearings. So you can get a wheel bearing packer about 30 40 bucks you fill it with grease put the bearing in push it down and it forces the grease through or you can do it by hand either way will work fine so I haven't got a wheel bearing packer here at home so I'll show you how to do it by hand so get a set of gloves it's pretty messy get a nice wad of grease get your wheel bearing and basically the form of repacking it by hand is just scraping the grease through and forcing it through with your palm so you can see how that pushed it up through so you basically Pull it through and force it through with your palm and you just do that rather forcefully push down hard and you can see that grease coming through the top now so you can see that new grease coming through so that's what you want to see and you want to see that all the way around so keep working it around side to side packing it and basically grabbing little bits of grease and then pushing it and scraping it through so you're putting pressure on the back of that bearing and pushing that new grease through. We'll basically work our way all the way around the bearing until we see that grease come through. And then you know all that old grease is out and we're repacked with fresh grease. So before I put this bearing in, just get a wad of grease, fresh grease. We're going to put it in the hub, scrape it on the sides in there. Get a nice wad of grease in there. Cover the bearing in a little bit of grease, and then we can drop that into the back um, wheel bearing race that's in the back of the hub. There we go. So just make sure it's seated correctly and it moves freely. We'll clean up the little bit of grease that we've got around here and we'll put that back seal in. So this is where our seal's gonna go. Let's just clean that up nicely. Now we're ready to pop that back seal back in. It's our new hub seal. So that'll go in the back there. And now if you have a soft mallet, um, use that. If not, you can use a hard hammer. You just have to be a little bit careful um, that you don't smack it too hard and deform this seal. So you just gotta sort of work your way around and um, tap that seal in evenly. That should just sit flush in there, and that's sitting in there pretty good. So just make sure it's in there evenly. If it's not, just tap down the other side so it's nice and even. Perfect. That's pretty good. So just make sure your wheel bearing still spins, and you haven't tapped that seal in there too hard. Still should spin freely. And what we're going to do is just get a little bit of grease. I'm just going to put a little bit of grease around this seal. That'll just help that seal up any, against any water and crap coming through. And now we can flip this hub over and we can do that front wheel bearing. So you can see the grease we got through here now. So that hub's got a fair bit of grease in there, which is nice, which is what we want. So I'm going to get my grease again. Tub of grease, my front wheel bearing. Get a nice handful of grease and same deal. Just going to pack that bearing with the fresh grease till it comes through the other side. There we go, that looks pretty good. So, again, just put a little bit of coating on there, coating of grease. Drop it into the race, make sure it's seated, and then we're ready to feed that back onto the hub. Just put a light film of grease on this spindle. 
just ever so slightly small film around where that seal is going to go. Now it's time to lift the hub back up here. So just make sure you got your seal in, wheel bearing in the back, front wheel bearing, and then you're right to slide it back onto that hub there. Just make sure that wheel bearing goes in and then it all seats up all right. So just wipe all the excess off here and just put that back in the tub. So I'm just going to clean the old grease off all the old components before I put it back together. So that's our wheel bearing tensioning ring. So that goes on first. So just line up the thread and that thread's on. Just wind that in. Tension this up with my two screwdrivers. So two screwdrivers in there and then the third one just to turn it around to where that was tensioned. So a little bit more. There we go, spot on. Um, now I can put my screws in because my three retaining screws have all lined up now. make sure this hub spins all right. So that feels pretty good. So if you're putting new wheel bearings in, what you'd have to do is preload them. So that is when you get your locking ring on, you tighten it up as tight as you can go, spin them so they seat correctly on the races, spin them a couple of times, and then you want to back them off, spin it, tighten them up again to the correct torque. Because we've reused the old bearings and we're just um, re-greasing them, you don't have to preload them. So just before you put this outer hub back on, just give it a bit of a smear of silicon or some sort of sealant around the inside and the outside, just to prevent any water from getting into the hub. So put that hub back on. Put these shims back on. Make sure that seat's in there. You can line those bolt holes up. So now it's time to put the circlip on, so it helps hold the CV into the hub, and the hub onto the CV. So sometimes you need to pull this CV out a bit because it gets pushed in during the process. So there's a screw thread in here, so you can just put a, uh, I think it's an M10 or M12 bolt in there, and just pull it out a little bit. So I'm just using, um, this is an ultra black gasket maker, so you don't need a thick, um, layer, you just need a very thin layer just to help seal against water. So now I've tidied the back of this up, we can mount the cover over the hub, line up all those bolts and uh, tighten them all up. So now we've got this all back together, so there's a little bit of grease around this brake disc, so you don't want to put that back together like that. So what we're going to do is just use a bit of brake cleaner. We'll just get rid of all that grease and grime that's put on the disc from us doing the wheel bearings. We'll also get on the back. Now we've got the hub all set up. Wheel bearings are tensioned correctly. Now we can put our brake caliper back on. So I'll just chop the zip tie, get my brake caliper down, get that in the right position. Make sure the brake pads are back far enough. Slide that on. There we go. Now just put these two 22 mil bolts in the back, line them up. And I'll tighten those up nice and tight and then we're pretty much done for this side. So I'm just going to double check the tension on these hex bolts. I'm just going to put a screwdriver in the brakes and lock it off there. 
I'll just make sure these are all nice and tight. So I work my way around in a sort of a star pattern. So it tightens down that hub evenly. And then once I think I've got them all tight, I'll just go around in a circle so I don't miss any and just double check. There you go guys, so pretty much now just going to double check over everything, give it another clean down um, and then we're ready to put the wheel back on and start on the other side. Now I've done that left side and uh, showing you guys how to do it, now it's my turn to chip on with the right side, get both those wheel bearings done and then I'm going to finish off the service on the car today as well. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it will help you guys out uh, with re-greasing those wheel bearings yourself. Um, so if you follow those few little tips and hints that I gave during the video, um, you shouldn't have any dramas. So thanks a lot guys. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for more full driving and accessory fitting videos. Cheers guys.